Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dev AV Club, and we're in the new Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and I'm excited to show you all these new text animations they've added. Now, these animations, a lot of these are possible to do with a lot of work and tweaking, especially with Vegas Pro, uh, but with this is with Movie Studios, you now have these quick title animations you can grab. Now, why these are cool is because not only can they be tweaked and customized to fit your project more exactly, but they are also just a huge time saver so you can get these awesome looking projects with these great little text animations which is becoming so much more trendy it's more much more in vogue than it used to be it used to be considered a sign of weakness to your project when you had text scrolling around but now if you do it the right way which I can gladly say that these do it the right way you really get some good looking projects now text animation is in. And Vegas has always had a lot of text animation. Let's take a look at some of the old stuff they've had. So notice that some of these are just old things that old presets that I have from my Movie Studio 16 projects uh, and uh, even some of my Vegas Pro projects uh, it, when it goes ahead and pulls all that in. Most people aren't like me and have Movie Studio and Vegas Pro uh, all installed on the same thing all the time. But this has something really cool. So starting from placeholder all the way up to action flip, you see these really, really cool things. These are what are available in 16. But you can see these much more modern looking ones. Uh, from t There's 25 new modern animations. This is no animation, but you can see a quick little thing of these animations right here. And how cool is that oh my gosh we're gonna take a look at all of them and so uh, what I've done is this is the Vegas default project they got some really good b-roll here a little good transition of a hiker and a guy in the woods I've taken this clip I've stretched it out to be the full length of, of a text clip right so anymore and I'd be looping it so that way we can see this full animation in its default setting and I'm gonna get rid of all the fades so this isn't exactly how this little default project looks but if you buy uh, uh, really any recent copy of Movie Studios, it all has this little default project you can look at and see some of the things you can do. But I thought this would be a great little test thing. Uh, let's tweak up the text a little bit and then we'll start adding these new animations. We're going to take a look at every single one of them. This is so freaking cool. I'm so excited. So uh, uh, one thing we can do is is we can actually, um, this has got a little bit of a shadow on it. You can actually offset the shadow just a little bit. I think the shadow right there is 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 good, and I'm gonna put a little bit of blur on the shadow. I think that gives it a little bit more crispness against the background there. Uh, and then with outline, you can actually change the outline if you want to add a black outline. Let's add a little bit of a black outline to it, and so just a hair. I'm just gonna add just a hair of a black outline just to make it a little easier to see and some of you are probably like oh the line spacing that's okay we can fix that we can fix the line spacing let's go to this in the advanced tab go to the line spacing we're gonna up the line spacing just a little bit I kinda like that closeness to to the words I, I like that uh, for what this looks like right now but uh, you can customize that make that however you want I just didn't want them over top of each other actually that was kinda cool I don't know so here is just the text on the video with no effect I've removed the panning there was a panning on here I've removed all that stuff now it's just straight up text and so in this little window here you can actually you don't have to drag and drop these from the example window in the in the media generator you can actually you can actually just add it right here where it says animation. And so let's say these are the, all the old ones, but then when you get to Title 1, Title 1 through 25, that's all the new ones. Okay, so we're going to go to Title 1, and we're going to work our way through it. So let's watch it from the beginning. Okay, that actually puts it on the lower thirds as well. Very intriguing. And surely you can move that around. You can customize all these. Just a reminder, uh, customize all the animations exactly how you want them to be. But um, this is so intriguing. Let's see. Look at that. So I wonder why, why is it so low? It's 
So the location is set to the center. So uh, the animation is actually what's moving it down. So again, you can you can put these wherever you want them. Just to prove that, if you want this higher, that's just the anchor point is set high on this. You can move it back higher. I'm going to hit Control Z because again, we're doing an experiment on what these animations are doing and how they work. I'm loving these so far though. It's title three. Here we go. Sharp. Sharp. And so, again, like I said, not with some customization, you can really make these your own, but just the fact that these are so modern looking and so easy to do that you don't have to... I don't, I don't, I don't know about you, I don't like spending 100 hours editing something to make it look pretty, but look at this, typing it out! Ah! Add a typewriter sound effect to that. Oh man, that's perfect. That's going to be great. That wasn't actually a typewriter sound effect. I was making that with my mouth. Anyway, so we're going to look at the next title. Oh my gosh. Title 5. That's nice. It's crisp, clean, very modern. And it doesn't take any effort, any effort at all. You just click this button here. Title 6. Oh gosh, I love that so much. Oh, I love it so much. I'm going to be using this so much. So I just, oh gosh, it looks so good. Okay, 18, uh, 8, not 18, 8. Mm, that's a sharp one. It's good. Gosh, I'm, I'm, I, I wanted to experience these for the first time with you guys. Oh, look at this. Okay, so... That was interesting. Let me see. Let me see what's going on here. Um, just freedom. It decided that freedom was the only word that needed to be there. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's look at Title Nine over here. I think that has to do with the line spacing I moved. The animation must mess with the line spacing. So, Title Nine. Oh, looks like that. Look at that. Nice and crisp there. Uh, so for some reason, some reason, we're missing part of it on this one. Um, if I if I go with the line spacing back to one on this, let's see what happens. Well, that's interesting. Let's see. Let's add it to this one and see what happens. I just, I'm just curious. I don't know why Title IX is not looking like it's supposed to look. Let's see. Well, that was that's a good little fade and zoom out there that they already added in manually. That's manual, but that right there, that's from Title IX. It's still really cool. I don't know why it doesn't look exactly like that. That's pretty sweet. Um, but, but it's still a cool little effect there, part of an effect. So let's move on. Keep on keeping on. Ooh, I like that. Let me add that line spacing back in. Just a hair. Just a hair. I kind of like the fact that it writes over itself a little bit. It fits that font. Oof, I love that fold out though. The way it handles different lines in the animation. Just, oh gosh, swimmingly beautiful. Okay, so let's do title 11. I'm legit giddy. <laughs> Ooh, I like that too. It's little variations on a theme here. A little bit of variations on a theme, but I, I just good looking stuff. Things I could very easily see myself using. Oof. 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 If people are gonna think you're a graphic design genius. Oof. Because I could do that, right? I could make this myself. And I've done that. I've made little fun ways words come in and zoom out and bleed over each other and stuff. But it's just like a ton of work for a little title. And so a lot of times you find yourself just kind of popping up a little title. Gosh, that looks good. Um, let's go. Let's, let's do this here. That's nice and sharp. I like the way it kind of punches together. 
Let's watch it again. This guy a good little punch. Pooh. Everything snaps in place very crisply. Let's see what's next. We're looking at title 13. Oh, I think I looked at 12 twice, but... Whew. Ah! I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm... Okay, so and just 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 I'm not doing it for this video. I don't have the time uh, right now, but I can I can tell you that if you just add a little sound effect, you know, like a little hinge sound effect or something, all the, or a little or something like all these little sound effects, small subtle little sound effects go along with a title. It's gonna really just make it punch and oh oh, it's just calling for a sound effect. Okay, ooh, let's look at fourteen here. Okay. I like that little sandwich fall. Good for a little restaurant commercial about burgers. Gosh, I love it. Okay. Uh, my, it's just, it's just, oh, it's making my creative brain just tick. Good day today. It's a good day. That was so, these are so subtly different, but they're just nice. Like, okay, so, like, Discover swings in. Freedom rings. No, I'm kidding. Um, freedom kind of zooms out and in. Discover swings in, and creative falls out from discover. Ah, good stuff. I can't help it. I just keep making sound effects for them. They just like call for a sound effect. Um, here we go. Mm. Mm, I love the way it handles multiple lines just gosh it's good stuff okay title 17 we still have a ton more to go Ooh, that's a nice little good little gun cock there you know my that's the best graphic design for that one oh, that this one's calling for for well, now let's watch it Okay, so the line spacing affects where the anchor point is. So that's something as you customize it and move it around. That's that's really what it is. Is is it has to kind of guess where an anchor point needs to be. So you can always reposition it on the frame. Gosh, I don't know how. I don't know how they make these animations so universally good, but it's just good. Okay, so let's look at eighteen. Let's leave it like that for a little bit. What? Oh, I like it. Oh, and good. Oh, gosh. Just. Oh, oh just add a little fade out right here. Like, right here at the bear. Add a little fade out right at the bear. A sharp fade out. We're going to fade. Oh, and then the bear looks at you. Oh, I love it. Shh. Good night. Good stuff. Okay. I gotta get rid of that fade now. Um, uh, oh, I'm so happy. Look at this. Uh, I didn't even know what I was gonna do. I just knew it was gonna be cool. The way it stacks things up. Mm, let's get an exclamation mark on this thing. Too many exclamation marks. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Subtle differences that just make a really different... Mm. And that's nice. I actually have a tendency to make my fonts too big, and so it actually made it. That's probably the more perfect size for this. Let's make this preview screen a little bigger. Let's enjoy this. 
Okay, so let's look at some more. Title 21. That's simple. Good, simple. And the reality is the simple ones tend to stand the test of time better. The more, if you want your project to be future-proof and not look different 10 years from now where you're like, where people go, ooh, that looks so 2000s. The more future-proof you want your project, the more subtle you want your effects to be. Like that's big and awesome, but it's also very subtle. It just fades in and drops in. It's like a little linear wipe while they're dropping down and they kind of got a good gravity bounce to them. Like they kind of... And it's just good and subtle, but a strong effect. Okay, so let's move on. 21, 22. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, my gosh. So, like, there's all these improvements and all these reasons that you can see in my Movie Studio 17 version why people are going to want to buy Movie Studio 17, but I, I, I can almost guarantee that people are going to want to buy this software just because, for that, just because they can just throw this on and suddenly their software looks, suddenly their project looks, like, ultra awesome, right? They're just on a hiking trip, they get some good B-reel, then you get a little color grading going. And, and then and to Movie Studios... Um. Oh no. Oh, for real? Okay, well, that's the topic for another video. So, um, you can color correct and all that stuff in Vegas, and, 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 and even in Movie Studio, without Pro, you can still do color correction. It's just a little, you're flying blind a little bit, but you can still do the majority of your corrections. So, look at, look at this. Okay, so we're going to go into 23. We're almost done, and I'm so sad. But 25 is a lot. Whew. I like how it just kind of sits back in there. Good stuff. Okay, so 24. Oof. Oof. So modern. So bold. I like it. Okay. Like, so this, just fight, you know, six years ago, that was like modern, right? Now, now, now this, this is the new modern. Gosh. Oh, I love it. Okay. 25. Ooh. Some title safe on this one, so we're gonna lower the font size to 14 for that one. Let's skip. Whew. Ooh, the way it pounces the end of. Look at that, like poof, the individual letters. Poof. How cool! is that oh my goodness so that is the 25 new effects here that you get and oh my gosh so much cool stuff i'm so excited i don't even know where to i just gotta finish the video now so i got all sorts of stuff about the new movie studio 17 platinums and as always we got vegas pro and movie studio tutorials coming out like wildfire and also other editing tips and things like that on this channel so subscribe if you're looking for more like if this video helped you out if you buy this software through my affiliates link that helps out the channel a ton thanks for watching i'll see you next time